Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, so I have my egg. Let me do, go ahead and get the, um, go ahead and get the ingredients done. I'm going to do my cornbread tonight, but I'm not going to make the stuffing until tomorrow morning. So I need a cup, flour, cup of, of um, cornmeal. I need a quarter cup of sugar. Sugar, sugar, Ooh, sugar, 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 sugar. So, quarter cup. I'm not going to fill this all the way up. So, about a quarter cup should be less than half. Uh, yeah. Quarter cup. I don't want it too sweet. Yeah, that doesn't make for good stuffing. Okay, so I got the sugar. I need a tablespoon. Uh, what did I do with that? There are. So I need a tablespoon of the baking powder. Right here, baking powder. Alright, baking powder, baking powder, baking powder. One tablespoon. That's a lot. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is the stuffing. This is stuffing. When I'm done, it's going to be for my for my dinner tomorrow, which will be Thanksgiving. Okay, so got a tablespoon of baking powder. I need a teaspoon of salt, which is right here. Okay. Salt. Oh, that don't make good for pouring it. There we go. Ooh, that was a messy little thing right there. Salt everywhere. Salty. And I need a cup of milk. Um, here's a measuring cup. I'm going to go get some milk. There's the milk. Go ahead and pour that in there. And I need oil. And I need a quarter cup of that. 
so that's not a lot of oil. Just drop something. A quarter cup should be, yeah. So you do one, yeah, that's about a quarter. Okay, so that was the oil. I think the last one is the egg. Where's the egg? Okay. The egg. I just saw that little egg. There it is. So there's the egg. Put that little bubber in there. And throw this away. Yes, yes, yes. Now, get my little wooden spoon and I'm going to go to mix. Now, here's the part that is my tweak. The egg is in there. Okay, so this is my tweak. Now, with me, I put my carrot and my celery in my cornbread, and I mix it up, cook it up, because... Is cooked in the bread and then it kind of kind of uh, is not as chunky in the, um, when I start to cook it um, cook my uh, my dressing so when I bake it in I, I, I don't know it just makes me feel like I'm not eating chunky uh, celery because celery is not my favorite. I like carrots, but I don't like my carrots uh, hard, you know. So I put it in the mix and then I also add a little, I didn't even double check to make sure I have poultry seasoning. And uh, I need poultry and I need sage. Yeah. That's a time to be looking for it. Let me see. Oh, I got sage. There's a sage. And let's see.
So then when I make the dressing tomorrow, whew, just got to add the stuff that I need from that. And then I'll already have my veggies. I don't really put onions in there, so I'm not going to add no onions. So I'm just going to mix this really well. And I'm going to put it in my cast iron. Um, let, me, let me preheat the oven. Bake can put it on. Preheat it. So I'm going to put it in a cast iron skillet. And I'm going to bake it. I just need to put some oil in that pan. Um, add a little oil, and then so here's my cast iron skillet right there. A little bit of oil. I'm gonna swirl the oil around. Get it throughout the pan. You can see that. Get it all covered. Let's try to get it on the on the edge of the pan. I haven't used this pan in I don't know how long, y'all. Uh oh, that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to make no greasy mess. Let me take a little bit of this. So I'm gonna take. And kind of just get my sides a little oily so that the, the cornbread doesn't really stick too bad. You know. So let me like that. Oh, there we go. going to be starting um, my dressing. Now this is um, my cornbread from which I made earlier. You can kind of see 
this cornbread that is um you'll see er, um you'll see early in in the video how I did that so now what I'm doing is I broke the cornbread into pieces I put my sage I put some more poultry I put some more um garlic seasoning in my bread or cornbread and now I'm mixing it I put an egg in there um then I'm gonna add some liquid which is in this little pot here and I have onions I'll we'll bring the camera over I have onions and celery um camera 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 lights action okay so I have celery onion and um carrots I'm gonna pour some of this liquid into the mix here which is the cornbread mix I'm gonna add I think one more egg to it One more egg, one more egg. I'm gonna put in, and I'm telling you, I know this is gonna be delicious. I haven't made any gravy, but I need to make some gravy. Uh oh. Make sure you don't crack any shells up in there. We don't want no shells. Okay, so I have one more egg, which you can see. I'm going to get like a little strainer because I don't want all those onions. I don't want all those onions and carrots and stuff because I already have carrots and stuff in there already. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, now that was some work. like a lot of liquid but it really is because all this bread is going to cook and put this in the oven I'm getting some of this stuff done because I've been my turkey is already broken down and there is the turkey y'all it's all broken in a container oh this year I tell you I'm a little bit ah. oh having technical difficulties 
technical difficulties. But yeah, I um had a lot of I had a lot of stuff going on today, so I'm not happy with my turkey. Um, but you know, it's not bad. But all my dry, uh, I'm on my white meat was kind of dry, and that's one thing I don't do, y'all, is dry meat. <laughs> no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, and no ma'am. And no ma'am, shoot. That's the least I want. I might have added a little extra. But this is good because it's going to cook now. I'm going to. Mmm, I like that. Thank you.